It is now between these two neighboring nations employing very similar strategies. At the inaugural event, the United States, of course, advancing onto the finals two other times and looking to repeat history this afternoon. We are underway here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. United States 4-4-2 against a 3-5-1 formation of the, Can the Canadians. A good blend of youth and experience for this side. Straight on from the Canadians and bouncing into the arms of Keller. I'm very well defended by the United States. Springing the counter and the pacey Landon Donovan is off to the left side. The United States, a minute 23, trying to break this one open. This one delivered in. Oh, and it forces Hirschfeld and the service to the highest quality. Able to put a halt to things now. Going in for McBride, over the head, trying to set it up for Wolf. First time ball and in, Hirschfeld gets down well. Launch forward out the free kick, headed on, and Keller! Oh, unbelievable, Jason DeVos. Denied by Casey Keller. Take a look again, Stahl Terry with an absolutely, perfectly weighed ball, sets it up for DeVos, and Keller makes a save. Take a look again at this one, the best opportunity of the game so far for Canada. Look at this ball, a work of art. The marking from McBride and everything, and DeVos kick anything going, and neither can the Americans. The first half has comes to a close here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, and so far the United States with nothing to show for their efforts in the semifinals of the Gold Cup. And the United States, Josh Wolf getting the start this afternoon as Ante Razov is out with injury. Wolf getting plenty of chances, however, still a bit of a shadow of himself. We Alstad Terry, the heart and soul of this midfield. A good link between the defense and the attack. Bocanegra on the wing, crosses over now. Headed down by McBride, Donovan! Well, he takes it first time, and again, Lars Hirschfeld. Just possessed off the double team. Bocanegra now wide for McBride. The overlap from Beasley. McBride cuts it in now. Nobody challenging Armas. Armas has a go. Straight at Hirschfield. The two minutes has expired by our clock, so you know the whistle will be blown any minute. And right on cue, Peter Prendergast blows the whistle and a shootout. Penalties between the United States and Canada. The U.S. is up first, and it's Landon Donovan. He had such a brilliant performance. Can he strike? Donovan, yes! Landon Donovan, the teenager. And it looks as though it's going to be Kevin McKenna. It is. McKenna strikes it, and a great save from Keller. The United States with the advantage. It's going to be McBride. McBride hits it. Oh, and he gets a bit lucky. He hit that one like a tired striker, and why not? A guy that has played 120 minutes of football tonight. Now it's up to Paul Stalteri of Canada. Keller trying to keep him guessing. Stalteri, yes! Paul Stalteri hits that one with aplomb. Hirschfield to be tested again. The United States and Jeff Agus. So proficient from the spot is Agus. Can he do it again? Agus hits it and hits it well. The upper corner of the United States with their third penalty. Dean De Rosario trying to keep the Canadians in it. De Rosario sneaks it past Keller for Canada's second. The young man has played absolutely flawlessly today, and Clint Mathis knows that all too well. So Clint Mathis of the Columbus, pardon me, of the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars steps up and converts. Clint Mathis with the United States. Actually with four in a row, a lovely finish here from Clint Mathis. And now, 
The Canadians know, says Casey Keller, and the United States have booked a trip to the finals against Costa Rica.